Hi everyone, welcome to Korean Express YouTube channel. In this video, you are going to learn how to make negative sentences in Korean language. So without wasting any time, let's start. Now basically, there are two main ways for constructing negative sentences in Korean. Mainly, two ways for negative sentences. Banane ke. First one is by placing an before the final verb or adjective in the sentence. Okay? Jo bhi hamare sentence ka final verb ya adjective hai, uske just pehle kya place karna hai? An. Okay? And the second way is by adding ji anta to the stem of the final verb or adjective. Dusra tarika kya hai? Ki jo bhi hamara final verb ya adjective hai, uske stem se kya add karna hai? Ji anta. So, these are the two main ways for making negative sentences in Korean. But there are other methods too. And we have discussed two of them. One is by using the verb anida. And another one is by using opta. Okay, so these are two ways in which you can create sentences negative sentences. If you don't know how to make sentences using anida or opta, then you can go and watch these two particular videos. Okay, now we are going to discuss one by one these two main ways for constructing negative sentences in Korean. So first, let's start with an. Okay, how to make negative sentences using an. So as I said, an is placed before the final verb or adjective. For example, we have the verb makta, which means to eat. So, what will be the negative form? What will be the negation? Unmokta. To not eat. Okay? Now, we know how to conjugate in the present, past, and future tense. So, present tense, what will be the negative Past tense, unmokasoyo. And in future tense, unmokul koyo. Okay? You just have to place an before the verb or adjective. Very simple. It is a very simple way to create negative sentences. Fine. Now let's see some example sentences to understand the usage of an. First one is, I don't like salty food. So in Korean, it is, Okay. Here, we have used an just before the final verb. Okay. Okay, the next example is, I did not eat ramen or ramyeon. So in Korean, it is, Just before the verb, makta, which is conjugated in the past tense, we have placed an. Next is, I will not read that book. Here, we have used the verb, ikta, and conjugated it in the future tense and placed an before it to turn this whole sentence negative. Okay? Next is, this kimchi is not spicy. E kimchi de an mehoyo. Now here you can notice that mepta is an adjective which means to be spicy and we have conjugated it in the present tense as mehoyo. So while turning the sentence in a negative form, we used an. Okay, so these were some of the examples to understand how to use an to create negative sentences in Korean. Now let's move ahead and let's see how to use chi antha to make negative sentences. Okay, as I said earlier, chi antha is added to the stem of the final verb or adjective and then this antha. It is conjugated according to the appropriate tense. Fine. We know the conjugation rules, so it becomes very easy. For example, we have the verb mokta, which means to eat. Now, if you want to turn it in a negative form, if you want to negate this, then it will become mokji antha, to not eat. Now, if you want to conjugate it in the present, past and future tense, apply the conjugation rules, it will become mokji anayo. Mokji anasoyo and mokji anal koyo. 
Now let's see some example sentences to understand the usage of chi antha more clearly. One more thing, I have used the same examples as you saw while learning how to use an in Korean sentences. Okay, just for the ease of understanding. So that you can understand very well how to use an and chi antha ko kaise use karna hai while translating the same sentence in Korean. Fine. Now first one is, I don't like salty food. Thonen chan umchigil chua haji anayo. Now you can notice, as I said, we have to attach chi antha to the stem of the final verb or adjective. Now here we have conjugated Anta in the present tense. Okay, and we have attached chi anayo to the stem. Choaha. Okay, now you can see how to use chi anta to make negative sentences. Next example is I did not eat ramen. Chonen ramenu hokji ana soyo. Here also conjugation is done in the past tense and chi ana soyo is attached to the verb stem. Okay, next example is I will not read that book. Here the verb is ikta. So the stem is ik and chi antha conjugated in the future tense is attached directly to the stem. Next example is this kimchi is not spicy. E kimchi mepchi anayo. Here you can notice that the adjective mepta it is made negative by adding chi antha directly to the stem of the adjective. So it becomes mepti anayo. Okay, so these were some of the examples to understand the usage of chi antha. Now here is a very important note. As we know that there are many verbs and adjectives that end in hada. Okay, bhoat sare aise verbs hai, adjectives hai. Jinki ending hada se hoti hai. So, these kind of verbs that end in hada, they are basically made up of noun and hada. Okay? Ye do parts se bane hoti hai. Ek to noun wala part hoti hai. Aur uske saath kya attach hoti hai? Hada. So, the negation of such verbs and adjectives, it is slightly different. Okay, now first let's talk about the hada verbs. So how you are going to negate such verbs? To negate a hada verb, the noun and hada, they are separated like this, okay, in two parts. And we know that the negation is done using two ways. So first one is by using an. An is placed between the noun and hada, like this. Noun, then comes ha an, and then hada. For example, you have to negate kumbu hada, which means to study. So, we are going to separate the noun part. It will become kumbura an hada. To not study. Okay? Very simple. And the second way is to add chi antha to the stem of the verb. So, it will be like this. The stem of the verb, it will end in ha. Because it is a hada verb, so stem ha se end hoga. And then what will stem kya attach to the Chi antha. For example, Kumbu hada. If you want to negate this, we are going to say Kumbu haji antha. Now let us look at these examples to understand it more clearly. First one is I don't study. Now there are two ways. One is by using an and the other one is by using chi antha. So if you want to say I don't study in Korean, it is chonen kumburur an heo or Okay, just notice the difference between these two sentences. Okay, in meaning same hai, but in ki jo formation hai, wo alag hai. Fine. Next example is, I will not exercise. So, there are again two ways. Or, Okay, in the first one I have used an and in the second one I have used chi antha. Okay, everything is same, just a slight difference. Okay, now let's talk about the hada adjectives. The negation of hada adjective is very easy because the noun and hada, they are not separated. 
अनलाइक विद दी हादर वर्ब्स ओके हादर वर्ब्स के साथ हमने जैसे सेपरेशन कर दिया था वैसा एडजेक्टिव के साथ नहीं होता है The negation of other adjectives is done using the regular rules that we have already learned. फिर भी मैंने यहाँ पर मैंशन किया है बट वो ही रूल्स होंगे जो दो बेसिक वेज है नेगेटिव सेंटेंसेज बनाने के दो सेम रूल्स आर बींग फॉलोड फर्स्ट वन इज बाई यूजिंग आन जस्ट बिफोर द एडजेक्टिव फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू हैव टू से टू नॉट बी हैप्पी सो टू बी हैप्पी इज हिंग बुक खाता and to not be happy on hang book khad you have to place on just before the adjective very simple and the second way is by adding chi anta to the stem of the adjective so if you want to say to not be happy while using chi anta it will be hang book haji anta we have attached chi anta to the stem of the adjective okay very simple now let's see the examples first one is I was not happy. So there are two ways again: tonen an hingbuk hisoyo, or tonen hingbuk haji ana soyo. Okay, very simple. वो ही सेम रूल अप्लाई करना है जो आप सभी वर्ब्स और एडजेक्टिव्स पे करते हो. हादा एडजेक्टिव्स पर भी वो ही रूल अप्लाई होगा. Next is I am not jealous. Tonen an chiltuyo, or Tonen chiltu haji anayo. Okay. Okay. So this is how you make negative sentences in Korean. The two main, the two important ways are being discussed in this video. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe Korean Express YouTube channel. Thank you.